Hey guys, Patrick R with TFP TV, and today I'm taking a look at the Walther PPS M1 in 9mm. Now, James has previously taken a look at the M2, which he likes to call the question mark, question mark, dollar sign. Uh, but this one was the original design, and it's been around for a while. Um, I know prior to, like, the MMP Shield coming out and the Glock 43, the PPS M1 was one of the go-to single stacks for concealed carriers. And I think for a really good reason, because underneath all this Walther garb, that is basically a Glock. Uh, the operation is roughly the same, and uh, with a, just looking a little bit different, uh, I'd, I'd say it's probably the first single stack 9mm Glock um, without it saying Glock. Now, takedown is very similar. The layout of the gun is a little bit different because you do have the flappy paddle magazine release on this, uh, but you also get a couple of other things you don't get with other striker fired single stack nines, and that is the option of using, uh, I believe it's six, seven, and eight round magazines on the nine millimeter, as well as interchangeable back straps, uh, a loaded chamber indicator that uh, kind of pokes out in the back, and then uh, the sights are pretty good too. So let's get it out on the range and see how she performs. I've got a feeling I'm going to really like this one. So I want to say thanks to our friends over at Ventura Munitions who are kind enough to send over some of this 115 grain full metal jacket ammo. Now the Walther PPS M1 shipped with a 8 round magazine and it also has a 7 round magazine as well. I find that the 7 round magazine works great for concealed carry purposes and the 8 round magazine makes a great reload or range mag because it gives you a little bit more of a finger groove to grab hold of. Now they did offer a six round magazine as well and that was flush fit with the bottom of the gun but uh, I don't really find that it offers any more uh, of a help when trying to conceal the gun whereas uh, this one just protrudes a little bit further and seems to work just about perfect for my uses. But uh, now that we're loaded up let's get out the range and uh, shoot some targets. Introduced in 2005, the Walther PPS was one of the go-to single stack 9s for concealed carriers. Like I said, it's very similar to a Glock, and you can see that takedown lever right there that is very reminiscent of the Glock style thing. Now, I incorrectly called it a loaded chamber indicator, but that is a cocking indicator in the rear of the gun, because the PPS uses the quick action system out of the P99. Now, the interchangeable back straps also makes the gun unable to fire when removed, so if you need to make the gun safe for whatever reason, taking that off will make the gun safe and inoperable. Taking the pistol down for cleaning is quite simple. Lock the slide to the rear, drop the magazine, drop the striker, pull the takedown lever, and the slide comes right off, just like a very popular gun on the market right now. Now you'll notice it has full length metal slide rails, which is a nice feature and it gives the gun a nice solid feel. Uh, inserting the magazine, you are good to go. Too easy. Taking a look at the PPS and the Glock 43 side by side, you can see how similar they look. Now there are some key differences, like the locking block is a little bit different on the Glock, but the recoil spring, the firing pin block, the cruciform and the disconnector are all basically the same, more or less.
All right, guys, so that's the end of our range day with the Walther PPS M1 in 9mm. I think it's a great little shooter. Very pointable. Uh, it's very flat, and I know it's very concealable because I put it in my Glock 43 rig a couple of times and carried it. And I really do like it. Um, I even like that little European magazine release quite a lot. So it's kind of uh, one of those guns that falls under the radar that nobody pays attention to, but really, really should, because I think this is a viable alternative to just about everything else out there on the market currently. I, it's extremely competitive, and there's no reason you shouldn't look at one. If you're looking for one of these guys, check out our friends over at ProxyVid. They pop up now and again, and you can get them for a pretty good deal. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye.